nudist beach. What the heck? The cave. Greetings and salutations again Geo Nerds. Tonight we're going to have a quick look at a video put out by John from Off Track Explorer. Uh, it's a great video about Noosa Heads. And Noosa Heads is an amazing place if you haven't been there. Watch John's video. I'm going to put a link in the description and uh, we'll show you a tiny bit of it here. But because we're going to talk about the geology of what's happening up there, just briefly. And we'll use a tiny bit of John's video to put it in context. So anyway... You know what I'm going to say, let's, let's rock. rock. Well folks, we just started up the old chopper again, that T-Rock's chopper heading out through the city. G'day everyone, hope you didn't spill your coffee. Heading out through the city and we're going to go up to um, Noosa. Here and uh, we have to go a bit faster than this. This is a very special helicopter. This is Mac 5.5. This is hypersonic, well hypersonic. Heading up over the north coast, of course, because we can. And we're just going to pull into Noosa Heads here because, of course, we're not here to see all that other stuff. Uh, this is a really nice part of the world, by the way. So there we go. And uh, you will see when, if you watch John's video, and I strongly suggest you do. All of that coastline here goes right around it. Uh, the beaches are a bit boring, they're lovely, but they're just beaches. We're looking at the headlands and we're going to have a look at the geology of these headlands because it's not what you'd think. You look at that, you think volcanic. This is all volcanic. Well, you know, some. It's not. But anyway, let's have a look. And there's the uh, nasty end of this up there where the, uh, all the blue bloods live. Stone 83, Port Newham official with CBD and ready for descent. Stay now. folks this is just a quick uh, geographical overlook of this if you want to see this in detail watch John's video I know I'm harping on that but getting up close and personal with uh, geography is what John does in Off Track Explorer and he does it very well here so check that video out but right now we're going to have a little look at the geology that's under this because I said in the intro, uh, this all looks volcanic and it could not be further from the truth. There is some volcanism in there, we'll have a look at that, but mainly, this is coal. Yeah, coal. Well folks, let's have a look at this map. The yellow is all sand, so let's get that out of the way. The green is the Taro coal measures. All that green you see there, the Taro coal measures. These are Jurassic, early Jurassic. So these are the same age as the Ipswich coal measures. That big bit of uh, red you see there is actually an intrusion of quartz granodiorite into these Taro coal measures. It's Cretaceous. So it's about 50 million years newer. And uh, so everything you're seeing down there is either sand or 
essentially sandstone. It's a siltstone, ardenite, coal. It's never that simple as you can see if you look at the pictures. Uh, if you look at John's video, you'll see that. But anyway, that's the geology. Well, folks, here we've just got a 2D map of the Noosa area. And uh, that uh, red bit you can see up the top is that uh, Cretaceous quartz diorite that we saw before. This is hard stuff. You go there and hit that with a hammer, it'll ring like a bell. It's amazing stuff. But I want to draw your attention to those two little pink lenses further in. That's granite. Now, both quartz diorite and granite are intrusive rocks in that they didn't make it to the surface. They've penetrated into this uh, Taro formation and they've been trapped underground and they have solidified underground. So frozen, which is what rock does when it settles underground. So granite is granite and the granite diorite is granitic but it's just a finer crystal structure. Well, here we are, folks, in 1889, and we can tell that we're uh, probably over near the uh, fairy pools because that is the sedimentary rock that's there. And uh, it's good to see everyone's wearing a hat. And uh, here's some awesome formations. And the rocks aren't bad either, but you can see the banding in that. That's just the uh, taro formation. You can see some of the uh, the mudstone, the ardenite, all the different colours. That's all the way through there. Now down the, the other end, there's this rock. Now this is clearly not sandstone. You know, we know what this is. We called it quartz diorite because that's the technical term, but all normal people would simply call it granite hence Granite Bay. That's the place where you might want to, you know, eyes front with your kids if you're going through there. A few people may be a little light on clothing. There you go, folks. Bit of slow motion T-Rocks action for you this evening. Um, that's it, Noosa, great place. You should go up and check it out if you get time. It's a lovely walk through there. Leave some time though. It's further than you think walking around. Uh, probably uh, today was like 35 degrees, so it wouldn't be a good day. You'd be, you'd be going to be in the pools. So uh, anyway, catch John's video over at uh, Off Track Explorer. A uh, link will be in the description. And uh, yeah, John's a cool cat. He is a machine when it comes to running through this countryside like this. He fears nothing and uh, he just goes for it. And you can see it in the video as it comes through. He's also a really nice guy. So anyway, that's all the ad you're going to get, John. I can't do any more. Uh, but uh, what do we got coming up soon? Yeah, I've just done some road cuttings, actually. I might do some more. I've just found another big one. That'll be a surprise. And probably going to go down and check out the, uh, well, Karawatha, but it's actually the Callumvale Quarry. That was its original name. Uh, and uh, lots of the, pretty much the same formation you've seen in this Noosa video, but a lot further south and a lot more coal in it. Anyway, that's it. Thanks to all your new subscribers and thank you to all, everyone who watches these videos. It uh, makes it all worthwhile because it sure ain't YouTube paying for all this, that's for sure. Keep rocking. T-Rocks out. out.